with the heat, Dan. Ugh. It's just on. It's not stopping. Well, maybe they need to share some of their hydrogen. 473 degrees below zero with us. So that, that would be nice. That would even things out yeah, a little bit. If you bit. put it in the air above Utah, maybe that would cool us a couple of degrees. We certainly need it. Hottest September day to day ever. This is a once in over 150 year occurrence. It just doesn't happen like this. 103. And we've had 30 days above 100. That also is um, more on the term, more on a hot, once, once in 250 year. I mean, we don't have the records that go back far enough to check that out, but 49 times above 95. The record is 54 back in 1913. So 91 right now, still hot out there, isn't it? Good thing though that the humidity has really dropped. We were down in the single seven, eight, nine percent range today in Salt Lake City. So that allows us to cool off at night and we're seeing those cooler temperatures now, 80 in Vernal, if you can call that cool at the 930 hour. It's 91 though, Salt Lake, that is just really warm. 78 Cedar City, 98 in St. George. Here's our forecast. We do expect to see a few of these little thunderstorms pop up along the crest of the Wasatch Plateau, the Uinta Mountain and also in the Southwest Mountains, but more than anything else, we'll see gusts of wind. And the same thing will happen once again on Monday, primarily over the mountains. Colorado might see a little more action Tuesday into Wednesday, but this ridge of high pressure will actually be strengthening through the whole time frame. And a uh, new model says, okay, there's a hurricane that'll come up through the Baja California and may reach us about the ninth of the month. So that's when we'll start to see a potential change in the weather. In the meantime, oh, we have the uh, unfortunate probability of these hot temperatures continuing. Advisories are in effect and also heat warnings. 70 though overnight here in the capital city. Tomorrow's high though back up to 102. That's still a record for the day. It's also the fourth day in a row in September of 100 or hotter. That's never happened before. So look for lows tonight in the 60s, 50s and 70s as you can see here 70 in Salt Lake and then tomorrow above 100 along the Wasatch Front uh, near 100 or above 100 in the deserts in southern Utah. And again, a couple of cloud buildups over the mountains. 105 St. George tomorrow, 107. Then it does get very, very hot on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday up at 108, 105. By Friday, Saturday, something's brewing with a potential hurricane that'll come into southern California and bring a few more clouds up towards southern Utah. We'll watch and see. We may have to change the forecast as we get a little bit closer to that time frame. However, we're looking at 104 on Wednesday, an all-time September record high like today before we start to cool down just a little bit Friday and Saturday. You know, the average high this time of the year is 86. 